It is not good for man to be alone. I will make helper suitable for him. The God who make and redeem them also institute this relationship that they are about to enter. David and Kaya, the vows you are about to take are not to be taken without careful thought and prayer. For in them, you are committing yourself exclusively to one to the other for as long as you both shall live. This love is not to be diminished by different circumstances and it is only to be dissolved by death. As God's children by faith in Jesus Christ, the relationship of marriage is especially meaningful. Certainly, it is, per it is possible for non-believers to marry, but only members of God's family by faith in Jesus Christ can ever experience the joy and fulfillment which God intends for marriage to have. Let me remind you, David and Kaya, your home will never be what God intends for it to be if you leave him out of your relationship. As you are obedient to the word of God and allow God to control your relationship, your home will be the place of joy and testimony to the world that God intends. Here, as you see, there are some saints here. And actually, you ask for this ceremony to signify, to symbolize how your two, two of your life come together. <laughs>